In this video, we're going to look at bindery operations. A bindery is the part of the pres uh, print shop that ha uh, has all the machinery that manipulates the paper after it's been printed. So pretty much anything that happens to paper after it's been printed is considered bindery work. Although the term comes from book binding, um, a lot of other things happen there nowadays. Uh, the image you see here is a picture of a guillotine cutter. That is a person with a block that is pushing paper up against a stopper there. And above their hands is a very sharp blade. And that blade, uh, when they got the paper positioned properly, they move their hands out, they press two buttons, and the blade comes down and cuts huge stacks of paper um, like butter. Pretty fun to watch. Um, Anyways, that's a very common uh, piece of machinery to have in a bindery because all printed paper pretty much needs to be cut. Even just plain old posters and business cards and postcards. Um, so as I had just mentioned, pretty much anything that happens to the printed project, uh, product um, is considered bindery work. So that includes folding, cutting, gluing, laminating, book binding, emboss and deboss scoring, which is just um, indenting paper so that it can be folded later. Um, sometimes you'll see that when you get something flat and it's got like a indentation mark where you're supposed to fold it. That's called a score. Uh, perforating, foil stamp, and die cutting, plus any customized package designs for boxes and things. That all gets engineered and done in the bindery. So the first thing is um, folding machines uh, to just kind of look at uh, these two ways where paper gets folded. And we had seen these in the Lithex tour, but um, uh, the machines weren't running. Um, and so there's the buckle folder where the paper hits a, um, hits a stopper and it makes the paper buckle and then these rollers grab it and pulls it down. Um, and another one is a knife folder, which is not as common, but it's where the paper comes across and this little knife blade pushes the paper down into the rollers. So you can see that, um, that these are different folding machines here. Um, the picture on the left is uh, from a web press. So a web press um, is the continuous sheet of paper being folded as it goes. Um, but this machine down here in the lower right might look a little familiar from Lithex. Um, so when you're working with thicker stocks, they sometimes need to be uh, creased or scored before they're folded, even by a machine. That prevents the paper from cracking um, or um, having uh, bad folds due to the thickness of the paper or the grain of the paper. So a score is basically like this little knife and it just indents the paper a little bit so it'll fold easily. Um, perforation is a very similar process except that knife is just has these little blades and it cuts through the paper so that it's ready to be torn off like um, uh, checks out of a checkbook or whatnot. Uh, so these are some common fold types and their names. Um, and the ones in red, I would like you to learn what those names are and what the folds are so that you can identify them. Um, oops, sorry about that. Do that wrong again. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. So you can see a four page fold is basically folding something in half, um, and they count that as four pages, you know, front and back being one and two, and then the next one front and back three and four. Here you have a six page letter fold. That's very common for your brochures. Um, same with the uh, six page accordion. So you can see the style of the fold makes like an accordion shape. Um, and then the parallel fold is where the, it kind of nests inside of each other, like they're parallel nesting. You can see these other folds here. Um, a gate fold is very popular and common in books. And then another accordion fold with eight pages. So you can see there's 
front and back of four panels, one, two, three, four, so that's eight pages. Um, and you can see they just get uh, more complicated with more pages and then different um, uh, styles. And here is folding for signatures for books, to create books. Anyways, uh, those are the um, folds I would like you to uh, learn. And we will continue bindery operations in another video.